Okay, let's do a quick overview. So this is a 1991 Volvo 245 wagon. Um, has like 300,000 on the clock. And uh, we wanted to try our hands at uh, Speed Duino. So we'll start down here. You can't really see it, but there's a Speed Duino version three full-size board um, in here and it is running pretty much parallel with the stock ECU. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit more in depth. Um, uh, it splices into the ignition and also the fuel control here. And then we've got a AEM wideband from Amazon, just like a basic plumbing style um, boost gauge. So it will soon have some turbo stuff going on. Let's go take a look under the hood and then I'll explain what we've done. Okay, so very standard issue B230. It's the Bosch LH 2.4 fuel injection system. So let's start with the ignition. So we've left in place um, the distributor and I just left this on for fun. I could really just take it off, but um, I've cut the power wire for the coil that feeds this and I ran it over and it's actually feeding these GM LS coils. So let me give you a little shot of that. So, yep, LS coils on uh, every cylinder. They go down to some fresh spark plugs. Um, I just used the stock LS coil wiring there's uh, the plug right there. So they're batched. So these two are on in one ignition driver and these two are on one ignition driver. So they just go back and forth. So it's a batch fire ignition. Um, really all these need are a ground. So there's a ground here that goes to the intake manifold and then they need power. So this power goes over and it takes the factory uh, power from the coil, so it's switched. Um, I don't have to do anything, it just automatically turns on just as that coil would turn on if it was in factory form. And then from there, we have uh, this blue and purple. Those are your triggers. So those actually are what the ECU tells the coils to uh, ground and then shoot the spark. And then, um, there's a sensor ground, this orange guy. So all of these have a sensor ground that ties in. Um, and then there is, um, let's see, I think the only other ones that we've got here are um, for fuel injectors. So yeah, that's it. I mean, really, that's just it. So going into the car, you have a sensor ground and two triggers. And I just, I pulled this back and I fed them through so it looked as factory as possible. So there's really, it just kind of looks factory. Um, the injectors are all batched together in factory form. So all of them fire at once. So it goes kick, 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 all of them at the same time. With a Speedduino, you batch them as these two and these two, one and four, two and three, just like you batch these uh, in these ignition coils. So in factory form, they get this power. This is uh, just orange. All of them get the same power. Injectors are just solenoids. So they just have power to one side and then you ground the other side to open them. So there's one and two right there, the gray and the white wire. Um, just go back to the Speedduino. Um, that's really all it is. So I left this factory wiring so that it could get power um, without me, you know, putting a fuse panel in or anything. And then it just goes back and, uh, grounds, uh, by the ECU. Over here, I ran a, um, generic General Motors style intake air temper sensor. Just popped a hole in the plastic, stuck it in. Works fine. I'm using the factory Volvo... Um, idle air valve 
and it is actually still ran by the factory ECU. I didn't want to deal with running it off the Speedduino yet, so I just left it there. Then I put in a potentiometer style throttle position sensor from a E34 BMW 535i automatic. Um, and then that's really it for under the car, for under the hood. Um, let's go inside and I'll discuss a little more. So, in here, I have, let's pull it out real quick. Sorry, I'm one-handing this stuff. Here we go. So this is the factory ECU for fuel. And then under here is the factory ECU for spark. There's two separate ones on Bosch LH 2.4. So over here, I just spliced in right here um, to the factory crank position sensor. It is a VR sensor and it uh, is easy to tap into as long as you don't cross the wires. It, won't you won't disturb the signal to the factory ECU so it just goes over and goes up on top of the speed duino it's kind of hard to see i have other videos i can show of everything apart and what the wires go to but i just spliced into the factory crank position sensor to get crank position for the speed duino that's really all you need to know it's a vr sensor it's very simple to hook up you just run a vr conditioner board on the speed duino and everything runs fine. Um, here, um, I have spliced in to the ground and the power that are switched um, to the factory ECU to power the uh, speed Duino. So here, that is just coming right over here and splicing in. And then the brown is just the same ground that this system is on. Um, um, I cut the check engine light. It's just annoying because it comes on when you have that. You can pull out like the coolant and the idle air valve if you wanted to control those off of the Speedduino. But I just uh, ended up tapping into those and taking them over completely. So the Volvo ECU doesn't see any of those. It doesn't see um, throttle position anymore and it doesn't see the um, air temp or, or sorry coolant temp or air temp it doesn't see the math i guess i left it plugged in but anyway um those are just over here so um and then yeah i have a, a wide band that i i took the stock um narrow band out and you can see the narrow band preheater thing right here is just cut uh you don't really need that anymore so Really, the whole goal with this project was to do it as inexpensively and uh, basically as effectively as possible without rewiring the entire car. Because I didn't want to cut the entire harness apart and, uh, you know, have the whole mess of completely rewiring it. Even though I essentially have done that, um, it's not as in-depth. Like, all I had to do is come in here and cut the wire that goes to the uh, coolant temp sensor and then send it over here with a ground to the speed duino i didn't have to you know run a whole new wire out to it and then the throttle position sensor you have to run new wires because it's a three wire potentiometer style so i had to run new wires up in there um, that's not really a big deal the injectors um you have to have the two injector leads that that the it, the ECU grounds um, and then the ignition system since it's LS coils it needed all of its own wiring however uh, it was just really easy to pull the wire from the existing coil because the whole car has you know relay systems and everything that turn all that on independently I think the ECU actually gives power to the injectors and stuff like that and the coil so it's all relayed and and it works really well I don't have to I don't have to get relays or try to find the relays in the car and and control them as long as this is plugged in when i turn on the key it gives the coils power it gives the fuel injectors power you know the dashboard and everything will have power 
that's really what I wanted to do. I didn't want to have to completely put in a new uh, power supply for everything because traditionally when you do like a full standalone you got to put relays in for every single thing and it's all just fresh wiring and we wanted to avoid that just for ease of installation so it's not necessarily running completely parallel with the stock ecu but the stock ecu is is running a few things um one thing that uh, I have ran into is that the tachometer on the Volvo is actually ran straight off of the coil. So um, I cut the power wire to the main factory coil and it doesn't um, it doesn't work anymore. So all I would have to do is give power to the factory coil again to make the tachometer work. But um, I, I don't want to really do that because it's just shooting the coil off for no reason. So I'm eventually going to do some modifications with the speed doing out to just run the tachometer independently. Um, but everything else is honestly pretty straightforward. It is a very, very uh, easy installation compared to some of the ones I've done. Everything's easy to control. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, you can comment below. I'd be happy to answer when I get time. I know I don't always answer quickly, but I'll post up uh, a couple other videos of how everything went along. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it runs really well. Like you just, you can immediately tell there's a power increase over factory. Like they say you need like a 10 to 15% increase in power in a car to be able to feel a difference. And you can definitely feel it. And it, it does have more power, so. I think the, uh, you know, the additional ignition strength, having a coil pack on every cylinder and, uh, and, um, you know, good fueling and, and a little more ignition advance really helps these cars out. So I can't wait to go, uh, turbo with it. Anyways, that's a speed Duino Volvo kind of in a nutshell.